Hello everyone, it's Mikaela Valletta. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I am reporting live from North Carolina and um, today I'm going to do a video talking about cocoa butter. So um, I already recorded this video on my IG live. Sorry for the noise. See I always point out New York is not the only loud place. So anyhow, um, I recorded this video already on my IG live but it's I could not save it. I wanted to repost it to YouTube. So I'm recording this video over. So let me just say in the beginning, because I'm going to post this on all my little media sites. Um, if you don't follow me on IG, you can find me at the underscore body underscore scientist. Um, and you can find me on YouTube, the body scientist 81 and the Renaissance Amazon. So make sure that you follow me in those places because I post in all those places. So for those of you who are familiar with my work, you know that um, I'm a nutrition scientist. I study the body, um, optimal performance of the body. And I love to talk about moisturizing my skin and my hair. And I love talking about fats. Fats are like my favorite macronutrient to speak about. Um, in case you don't know, macronutrients are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Um, because there's so much misconception around them. And so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a walk into the sun. So I'm here um, in, in, in Charlotte, where it is um, nice and sunny and hot and humid, which I love. And so I try, well, I make sure to come outside every day and get sun on as much of my skin as possible. So if you see, I have my back out, my arms my legs um, I get as much sun on my skin as possible because we do get vitamin D from the sun but we need as much sun on our skin as possible our hands and our face is not enough so if you wear office clothes and you're always in the office and you're in your car driving and the sun is coming through the the window and then you get a few minutes outside and you're, you're mostly covered up and it's only your face and your hands that's not enough uh, sun, and especially for darker skinned people. The darker you are, the more sun you need on your skin to get um, adequate vitamin D. Also, we do get vitamin D from the sun, but you need to consume cholesterol because vitamin D is made from cholesterol. The sun hits our skin and reacts with something called an ergosterol, which then creates vitamin D, which is a hormone not even a vitamin, it's really a hormone, even though it's called vitamin D. And so you need cholesterol in your diet and you need sunlight, right? If you're someplace where you don't get a lot of sun or it's the winter months, then you will have to get vitamin D from food and which only occurs in animal sources like cod liver oil, grass-fed um, dairy, fermented dairy and stuff like that, cheeses, um, fish liver oils, stuff like that. So, um, Roe caviar, which are fish eggs. Um, so basically, um, one thing you should know about your skin, and I have a video on YouTube already called um, Essentials of Beautiful Skin, but one thing I always um, point out is that if you cannot eat something, it should not be on your skin, okay? Things get into your blood much easier through your skin than if you actually ingest it orally okay so if something is not edible if you have to call the poison control hotline in order um, to if you have to call the poison control hotline if you ingest something then that means it's poison and that means that you should not be putting it on your skin okay so the things that I put in my skin shea butter cocoa butter olive oil coconut oil all those things are edible you can actually eat them so it's okay to be on your skin okay and so um, the thing I love about cocoa butter so much is that Cocoa butter, first of all, is very hard to find. Um, it comes from South America. It comes from the cacao plant. Um, I mean, not South America, Central America. Um, historically documented to have been discovered by the Omex. And then the mines and the Aztecs also did a lot with it. It comes from the cacao plant, and it is the butter, the fat, that makes chocolate melt in your mouth. That gives it that creamy, melt-in-your-mouth property. Um, and so cocoa butter is mostly made of saturated fat. Saturated fats are the most stable when air, heat, and light are applied to them. Okay, meaning that they don't get destructed and go rancid and turn to a, uh, a toxic compound. 
So the more saturated, the more unsaturated a fat is, the less stable it is. And I talk about that science in my YouTube video all about fats, part one and two. So check that out on my page, The Body Scientist 81. Um, and so when you're in, you know, you have sun beaming on you, you don't want to put on a polyunsaturated fat because it's being exposed to air, light, heat, all three of those things destruct it. Saturated fat is about, I mean, I'm sorry, cocoa butter is about 60% saturated fat. And the rest of it is mostly oleic acid, which is a monounsaturated fat that um, occurs in olive oil. Olive oil is mostly oleic acid. Oleic acid is also very stable. It's monounsaturated, not polyunsaturated. So it's not as stable as a saturated fat, but it's not as unstable as a polyunsaturated fat. So it's decent. It's pretty stable. Um, and so the saturated fat in cocoa butter is mostly palmitic acid and stearic acid. Um, um, palmitic acid is also in cocoa, coconut oil and palm oil. Um, it is very moisturizing, palmitic acid, deeply moisturizing. Steric acid helps to cleanse. I think there's also steric acid in coconut oil. It's, it has a very cleansing property to it, um, but the ratios are different in the different butters and oils, right? Coconut oil, one way that coconut oil differs is that it's very high in lauric acid. And, um, Lauric acid is, has a lot of antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial properties. So coconut oil is very good for that. I don't love coconut oil on my skin because I feel like it makes my skin wet and then dry. Um, it's not deeply moisturizing to me. Like shea butter is definitely deeply moisturizing, but shea butter is too hot for the summertime because it is an insulator. Shea butter holds in the heat. I cannot, I know people who claim to put shea butter on in the, in the summer, I don't know how they do that because I swear I would have a heat stroke if I ever put on shea butter and went outside in this hot sun and humidity. Shea butter holds heat in. So in the winter time, there's nothing better to me than shea butter because you could put it all over your body, um, get dressed, go outside, it cuts the um, cold air when it's hitting your face and you could be out all day. You come home, you take off your clothes and your skin is still moisturized. So I love shea butter, but not in the summer. Um, coconut oil has medicinal properties, but for moisturizing, not my favorite because I feel like it just makes my skin wet and then dry. Cocoa butter to me is, it, it moisturizes much deeper. Cocoa butter is a deeply moisturizing fat and it also helps to protect your skin from the oxidizing properties of the sun. So does coconut oil and so does shea butter, right? Um, but coconut oil, I mean cocoa butter is really good for protecting your um, skin from the oxidizing properties of the sun. You do not want to block the sun. Even if you're light skin, white, you don't want to block the sun, you don't want to block the UV rays because when you block the UV rays, you block your, build, your body's ability to produce vitamin D. It is the UV rays that hits, that, that interacts with the ergosterol on your skin that then produces um, vitamin D. So you need cholesterol on your diet and you need sun on your skin. Um, in order for that to happen and um, you need the, the, the UV rays in particular so you never want to um, block them and then if you look up the chemicals in um, um, sunscreen look up the chemicals in sunscreen and you will see that all of them are toxic cancer causing chemicals so again if you cannot eat something you don't want it on your skin if why would, why would you want to put toxic cause, um, cancer causing chemicals on your skin that if you ingested it, you would have to call the poison control hotline. That tells you something, right? So number one, you're putting cancer causing chemicals on your skin. And number two, you are blocking the UV rays. So that's cancer causing twice, right? Because vitamin D also helps to prevent cancer. Hmm. So we don't want to do that. Now, um, the darker your skin is, the more sunlight you need on as much of your skin as possible, as much of your skin as possible to get vitamin D. This is the reason why people who come from hot places, whether it be Africa, Southeast Asia, the Polynesian Islands, South America, the Caribbean, people um, were walking around damn near naked. And there are many reasons for that, but one of them is that they needed the sun to get vitamin D. They can, walking around covered up is not good for your health when you're in that type of environment and you're darker skin. On the flip side, people who burn, you know, who are trying to use sunscreen to increase the amount of time that they can be in the sun is not good because sun also destroys our folate. Folate is a B vitamin that is necessary for cellular reproduction. So when you have issues with folate, then your the DNA in your cells don't, um, they don't 
what is it, like copy over, because the DNA is always being transcribed and copied over, you will have issues with that process if your folate level is low. And so whenever you start to burn, that is evidence <laughs> your body is telling you that you're destroying your folate, which is causing genetic damage. So we don't want to get sunburned. You don't want to extend the amount of time that you should be in the sun if that's if your body is saying no, because it's too much for you. But on the flip side, the darker your skin is, the more sun you need. So for us, especially if you're living in like colder climates and stuff like that, we have to go out of our way to do that. I take a olive oil supplement in the winter time, often in the summertime too, because most people with darker skin are vitamin D deficient or on the brink of it. Um, and, and when I'm in the summertime or when I'm in um, sunny weather, I go outside, I walk around. I, being in the car all the time, if I'm always in the car, I wouldn't get the sun. So I go outside, I walk, you know, I get direct sunlight on my skin. I try to take as much sun on my skin as I can bear. Because, um, you know, sometimes we need the shade. It could be too much. But I stay hydrated.